right, New Azork now. And when you have New Azork, right, New Azork, in metaphorical terms, is basically the sun, right? It's simple as New Azork is the sun, right? <coughs> and uh, <coughs> if you refer to me of a video, right, about the um, the sea and sky code, right? Uh, the sea uh, becomes the sky, right? So when you have the sort of New Azork uh, in the sort of sea, uh, riding on top of the flood and all this, it's basically another metaphor for the sun, sort of, uh, you know, riding across the um, the sky, right? It's simple as it's a cr like the craft, the craft idea, right? And the ship idea, right? So you have, uh, like, for example, Rod, Rod Stewart doing I Am Sailing, right? Basically, a sort of reference to that. Uh, Rod Stewart, because he's, you know, Rod Stewart's in the craft. So he's sailing type of thing. He's sailing on the craft. See? And I am, obviously, we know that I am to do with masonry and all that. Right? And um, <clears throat> when you have this, uh, the craft, right, the ship idea, right, um, you have the rainbow, right, as in the sort of Royal Oak Mariner. So the rainbow is connected with the New Azork, right? So you have the sort of rainbow is how you get onto the craft, right? Uh, so that, you know, I've uh, done, done some ones there about uh, Aphrodite and Venus and all that, you know, they're connected to the rainbow, right? And the rainbow is basically how you sort of, you know, climb up onto the um, craft, you see what I'm saying? It's how you get up, it's the bridge, how you walk up onto the air, uh, get on the craft, see what I mean? So I have like a sort of, again, like a above and below type of a uh, metaphor, right? Where sort of the masons are on the craft, right? And you're sort of looking up at the craft, but you, right, are on the air uh, sinking ship, right? Because they have like a, a another cord, right? You have the air, the, uh, the craft, right? And the sinking ship, right? And the sinking ship uh, metaphor, right? Ties in with Grand Order of, Order of Water Rats, right? Which is um, because rats desert the sinking ship, right? Uh, rats desert the sinking ship. And if you remember Laurel and Hardy, that had a, had a movie called Sons of the Desert, right? Which was, you know, about Freemasonry type of thing, right? Um, so it desert the sinking ship, right? And there, uh, if you remember, the air uh, used to call all the boats and ships SS, right? SS, uh, such and such, SS, this and that, right? SS. So it's the sinking ship idea, right? Obviously, SS is a, is a um, very popular sort of idea within the culture and all that, like um, Hitler's personal bodyguard type of thing, you know, bodyguard is another unique idea, the SS, the sinking ship, right, so if you're not on the craft, you're on the sinking ship, right, grand order of, of water rats, see, and of course, grand order of, order of water rats, uh, also sort of doubles up, is, uh, um, you know, using, the, which is, grand order of water rats is an entertainers, it's a, a, um, a sister organisation of Freemasonry, but it's all entertainers and uh, you know, singers and uh, stuff like that, right? So it was um, uh, all the sort of entertainers from the sort of older period, like, uh, you know, 50s, 60s and all that, in the sort of grand order of water rats, right? And there uh, you had a grand master of this order, uh, Jess Conrad, right? Jess Conrad, who was, um, he was a popular singer in the sort of 1950s, 60s, right? So that's the, the order of water rats, right? and that sort of doubles up as a sort of Pied Piper type idea, where they're sort of they're leading by the entertainment, by the music, they're leading the, the rats down to the water to drown, right? Which again ties in with the Noah's Ark and the flood idea and all that, right? So uh, the SS, right? Sinking ship, right? And this uh, leads to the Titanic, right? The Titanic, which is obviously a very uh, famous story, right? very um very uh, famous storyline right because it was based on the original hex in about 1920 right and um obviously they didn't have television at that time right they had the uh, newspapers obviously we put the hard to also the path here newsreel type of thing right so you'd see the hex basically in a, in a cinema house as opposed to a television right but you, you would still you know you you would still see the hex type of thing, right? And there, uh, the Titanic right, must be a very something that the wish uh, to um, brainwash into people of all generations, right? Because 
that basically remade the sort of a uh, storyline of the Titanic right in movies uh, for sort of every generation since about 1920. Right? So sort of made remakes of the Titanic in uh, 1960s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, you know, read up this present day, it was pro probably a remake just a couple of years ago, you know, yeah, you know what I mean? Because they wish to put that storyline into people's heads, right? In this area, uh, the Titanic idea, right? Remember, you've got the cane and the TT right? in the Titanic name, right? And the storyline of the Titanic, right, is again like a, an above and below type of thing, right? Because if you remember the story, it was the sort of the upper, the upper ranks, right? Uh, and the sort of below decks, right? So you had the ones who was um, the survivors of it, right? And got into the lifeboats, right? The life, the lifeboats, see, life. The life rafts and all that, right? Was the sort of uh, aristocrats and all that, right? And the sort of the below decks people, right? If you remember the story, there was a load of like um, Irish workers or something on the boat who sort of went down sinking with the ship, right? So that's like a sort of scum idea, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. Uh, scum and foam type of thing, right? Yeah. So we can see the sort of uh, symbolism in that, right? Yeah, they went down with a sinking ship, right? And if you remember a couple of years ago, there was a, um, a song by a singer called Daidu, right? Daidu, again, is a mythological type of character, right? And uh, Daidu, it was, uh, I will go down with the ship, right? I will... Um, what is it? I will uh, surrender or something. I uh, knew a white flag aboard this ship or something like that, right? See a sort of white flag, right? Um, black and white, yeah, sort of masonry, right? Uh, and uh, the white, sort of white magic, right? Is supposed to be um, good and benevolent, right? And black magic is uh, supposed to be evil, right? So see the sort of symbolism here uh, so when you've got like, your, your black rights matter type of thing, right? Black lives matter. You're basically talking about them ramping up the hex and getting more evil with the hex type of thing. See what I'm saying? Basically what it means, right? But um, back to this Titanic, see? So they obviously want the brainwash people with the Titanic storyline right? because it relates to the Noah's Ark, right? If you ain't on the craft, right? You're going down with the sinking ship type of thing, right? Um, so that's basically new as Ark, right? And again, right, uh, if you're talking about Ark of the Covenant, right? Ark of the Covenant is, again, the sun, right? The Ark of the Covenant is, again, the sun. Although it's, like, slightly different, right? But when you've got the core of it, see, you've got the covenant idea in the core of it, right? So, again, you know, you can see what that's about, tea drinkers and uh, this type of thing, right? But I'll, do, I'll be doing another video on Ark of the Covenant because I'll be taking a better look at that, right? Uh, but that's your base city, your Noah's Ark, right? Your Noah's Ark is the sun. Uh, again, using the same um, code system as the Moses idea, where, um, you know, it's flipped upside down, the sea becomes the sky, right? And the, um, see what I mean? It's as simple as that, yeah. And that's it, like.